Well, it's that time of year again. It's the time of year where we get to find out how stupid I was just a year ago. That's right. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the Canadian real estate predictions that I made January 6th of 2021. And that means that we're all about to find out if I was right or if I'm a complete moron. But first, really quick, if you would like to stay up to date on the market of my Surrey place here in my Surrey place... <laughs> If you would like to stay up to date on my marketplace here in Surrey, BC and the whole Fraser Valley, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Making sure you hit that notification bell for all future videos means that you will not miss my 2022 real estate predictions that will be coming soon. And if you are planning to move into Surrey, out of Surrey or within Surrey and the Fraser Valley in 2022, you can book a call with me right down below in the description right now with just a few simple clicks. And of course, if you wouldn't mind, I would love it if you could just hit the like button if you find any good information in this video you hitting the like button is the best way for me to get this information out to other people who can then also find out if i know what i'm talking about so without any further ado here's me from almost a year ago welcome back to the Surrey report it's january thank goodness 2020 is behind us what a stinker of a year but it wasn't a stinker of a year in real estate but we're done with it right we can move forward Let's look at our predictions for 2021 real estate moving forward. I love how uh, I'm no better than any other agent. We always say, let's look at our, uh, like there's more than one of me. Let's look at our predictions. I guess our as the team, but these are my predictions. So right after these stats. Da, 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 da. So uh, if you don't know, uh, I'll skip past this part, but every single video at the beginning of the month, as soon as the stats are out from the real estate board, uh, we put out the Surrey stats for three asset classes, condos, townhouses, and detached houses, so you can see what they've done since last year and last month. So that's the part here I'm going to skip over because you don't care. All right, as always, please don't use these uh, predictions moving forward. These are only disclaimer, predictions. Disclaimer, disclaimer. only my predictions. If you have a real estate transaction that you're doing, hire a professional and consult their professional advice. All right, getting right into it. Interest rates, prediction number one. Well, I think we're going to see a hold and this will probably be my prediction next year as well. We're probably going to see a hold all the way into 2023 on the rates set by the Fed. However, I do think the five-year qualifying rate is going to change later this year. As vaccines roll out and more of them and we start to return to normal, at the mid to end point of next year, I do think you're going to see that five-year qualifying rate start to creep up over time. Well, I'm going to say I got that one right. That's exactly what happened. Uh, interest rates stayed uh, at the federal level. They stayed exactly where they were. But actually, just within the last few weeks here, last, let's say, three, four weeks, interest rates have started to increase. And that's self-imposed by the banks due to a whole bunch of economic stuff that I don't understand. But this is not uh, uncommon at this time of year. Usually November and December and into January, uh, you'll have these rate increases. I think it has a lot more to do with what the bank uh, has done financially for the year. They've made all their targets or whatever so they can increase rates and get a little uh, higher and a little choosier on who it is that they're giving loans to. So I'm going to say I got that one right. Uh, I did say I think they're going to stay down all next year. So my two-year prediction could be off. Second, uh, I think we're going to have continued low record inventory, specifically in detached homes. Uh, high income earners are paying less interest and spending less on vacations. They have the money now to spend on their upsize, and I do think they will do it. Keeping inventory record low and prices record high. Okay, so uh, in regards to prediction number two, low inventory, it's low and it's actually way lower than I ever thought it could possibly get to. Uh, currently today, when I checked, I think we were at 2,500 listings here in the Fraser Valley in residential real estate. That's insanely low. Uh, what I thought um, would happen would be a number closer to 3,500 listings. Uh, so I thought we would have almost a third more than we currently do. Um, but I think that's actually driven by more of investors than it is driven by people making the upsize. Uh, I, the condo market is extremely tight right now, and that's usually a result of people jumping into the investor side. So 
Hey, I think I got two so far. Two out of two ain't bad. Prediction number three, prices will rise. Well, I said it last year, probably going to say it again next year. Uh, prices are going to go up, but it's too easy to say that. So I'm going to hold my feet to the fire here a little bit, and I'm going to guess at how much prices will go up. So in December of 2021, this year coming forward, uh, we will actually get to go back and see how smart I think I am or, or am not. I'm not. You're not. So my predictions <laughs> moving forward, detach. Well, watch this video here. It's going to give you an explanation of why oh, it's going to go Gross. even so much better. But detached single family, I think we're going to see seven to 12 percent increase. OK, I'm going to stop me there. Uh, because I actually pulled these numbers and here's where they are. So at the time of filming this, the brand new stats aren't quite out yet. So I expect these numbers to believe it or not be actually higher than they are right now. But I said in the video, seven to 12% increase. And I thought that that would be crazy. In reality, the detached market over the past year has risen 32% by, by December, uh, from December to December next year. So hold me to that. I think townhomes are going to see a seven to 10% increase. Townhomes, just so you know, seven to 10%. I said that this would be lower. Uh, it was lower, but it was nowhere near. I got these ones totally wrong. So I got, I'm going to say I got price increases right. But man, did I get them wrong to the tune of almost three times. Townhouses are currently up in the city of Surrey. 26% year over year. And condos, even though they're not popular right now, I do think they will get pulled up. And I wait, wait, wait. Condos were not popular last year at this time. Mm, that's kind of why I bought one. Uh, and now they are extremely popular. So let's see. end up at somewhere between a 5 and 7% increase. 5 and 7% increase is what I said would happen in condos. What really happened in condos was actually 15%, making me wrong by three times again. At least I was wrong in the right direction. Overall, I think it's actually going to be a larger than normal growth year. I think we're actually going to exceed averages this year. Number four. Hey, overall hey I got that one right. <laughs> we definitely exceeded average growth this year. So, I mean, nobody ever saw this coming. Just a year ago, I thought, hey, if we see another 7 to 10% across all asset classes, we'd be in great shape. We're way above that. Household debt is going up. I think it's actually going to be at an all-time high. Uh, the reason for this? Well, even though people keep taking on debt, their payments are actually lower than what they were pre-COVID. Uh, buyers will keep qualifying for more, and they will spend the money. Uh, the good news about this is the qualifying rates are actually higher now comparatively than when you had any other financial crisis in the past. So it's all actually positive. Therefore, people will continue to spend and have absolutely no qualms about doing so. All right. So let me fill you in on what I think about that one. Um, yeah. Uh, household debt in regards to mortgages is obviously through the roof because uh, house prices have increased and most people are getting mortgages on those homes. So their debt has increased dramatically. I am seeing for the most part uh, a downturn or an affordability, I guess, a, a downturn in bad debt. I'm not seeing a ton of people with bad debt. However, the people that I am seeing with bad debt, it's rough. It's really, really rough. And I don't think that has to do anything with the housing market. That just has to do with their spending habits. And a lot of people, it's actually putting them into a negative position where they're spending. They couldn't even sell their home and necessarily pay off some of their debts. So um, I'm never a spender as far as, uh, you know, specifically debt. Uh, the only debt I ever want is tied to real estate. So uh, in this respect, I'm going to have to say uh, I was probably right, but I don't really understand how it result revolves around consumer debt. So I, I don't think I know what I'm talking about. Number five is actually deals on condos. I, prices are staying flat at the moment, and due to inventory, I think they actually should be going up, but we have this kind of COVID effect going on, and uh, the insurance troubles are starting to come to an end, it looks like. So even though this will be the worst part of our market in 2021, I think any purchase made in this year in one to two years' time is actually going to look super smart. Uh, humans have very, very short memories. Once COVID is over and all of this comes back to normal, I think condos are going to rage back with a vengeance. The other part of this equation is that detached homes and townhomes will rise so much that there is 
I mean, there's no way condos aren't going to go rise with them and be pulled along from the bottom. Well, that is a mouthful. So condos, uh, there are deals or there were deals. There were a ton of deals up until about July. There were a ton of deals on condos everywhere. So I'm going to say I was correct on that one for sure. I can't believe um, now sitting where we are that we thought COVID would be over by now because it's strictly not and just more... Um, uh, more restrictions have been put in place just within the last couple of days. So uh, unfortunately, um, that's not over anytime soon, but it didn't even take that for the resurgence in condos to happen. So I'm going to say I was right on that one too. There you go. We'll check in in December and see how right or wrong or smart or not I really am. And we did. We did check in. And I would say... Uh, I'm going to kind of pat myself on the back here. I did get a lot wrong. However, I'm going to say most of the things there that I predicted would happen were probably pretty safe bets, but they actually happened. Man, did I get the price increases wrong. I don't think anybody was expecting to see anywhere from a 15 to 32 percent increase not even the cat i wasn't even here yet thanks so much for watching make sure you subscribe because two-thirds of you watching this video still haven't hit that subscribe button hit the like button check out another video while you're here on the channel and we'll see you in a couple of days